Look at the baby. Here's the baby. Oh, here she is. Oh, look at the baby. I'll be back, okay? Daddy gotta go make his Mustang look better. <laughs> Obviously, the Cobra is still all wrapped up uh, from the last snow we had, so I gotta get it unwrapped, and I can guarantee you that the battery is dead. Either way, this whole vlog is basically about an update on all my projects here, uh, like way too many at once. Actually, a good thing is, is this. Finally got this in the mail, ordered um, gaskets off of uh, Partsology, wonderful Partsology. So uh, these are basically the sea head intake gaskets that you would find on like a 99 and up Cobra. And that is to uh, basically finish this project here. I was going to use these to shape the ports, but now actually looking at it, I didn't, I've never actually seen how big the freaking ports are on a C head. So now looking at this, I don't even know if this will work. Hold on, give me one second. <laughs> this actually may actually still work. Um, it is blurring the lines, but I still think I can make this work. Actually, you know what? They're supposed to go that way. That's why. Okay. See, that changes everything. But I basically just wanted these gaskets to use as a, uh, a reference to when I go and start grinding away material, the shape of a seaport. So that should work out just well. Anyway, there is an update on that. And once again, thank you Partsology for being a really awesome uh, company to order from, be a customer for and uh, have basically hold up to your next day shipping stuff. I literally, so these I ordered, so if you order after 3 p.m., it's not the next day, it's the following day, but still, even for two days shipping, considering how crazy shipping is right now, I very much appreciate that so much. So thank you, Partsology. That is the update on that little thing. Uh, today, I also have to get the fox body here fixed so the problem is the factory linkage on this car it's not a cable it's a metal rod and it has a very weird slotted end on it so while it works well with the factory shifter um it doesn't work well with <laughs> the aftermarket shifter it would it just it comes loose and slips and then obviously everything comes out of adjustment and you're not able to shift that's definitely an issue i got to get that fixed before i can continue driving the car and um you know and before i could move on with the project i have to be able to drive the car safely so that is definitely a priority i got to work on that today i think i have a solution so oh also another update with the fox body is um i got a lot of really really awesome stuff here so uh i got this awesome awesome uh i'm not going to take all of this out because i have it like all neatly packaged but this is a t3 t4 turbo um it's basically based off a t04 uh housing it's pretty big though um i think it's going to be perfectly sized for the two three and i kind of hinted at this in a couple of videos ago i'm going to do a, a official kind of like project reveal and this is a, a really beautiful equal length turbo header um, also from ebay came with all the mounting hardware and everything um, i think it's like black horse racing or something like that very very nice stuff for very very little cost once i get the transmission figured out that's going to lead me to the next project that i have hinted but never finished um, and of course to do the turbo project i have to be able to tune the vehicle I did visit a LKQ junkyard not long ago and picked up this Ranger ECU. Um, it's an e EEC5 uh, computer, which will allow me to use my, um, my tuning software that I have that I use to tune the Cobra. So that should be more than enough to get this up and running. So that will be the next project is swapping out the EEC4 ECU for the EC5 and get that running, which should be relatively simple because the Ranger I pulled it off of was literally the same sensors and everything as what's in this. So it was a 97 Ranger, this isn't a 92 Mustang, but they kept everything the same. All right, got it all uncovered. Let's get in here and see if it starts. I doubt it will. It may. 
Nope. <laughs> nope. I think this little lawnmower battery is, is checked out. I think it says, I had enough with this and um, I'm done. Uh, it ain't that bad, 9.7. A um, little bit lower than I thought it was. That means, uh, yeah, this battery is not too happy anymore. But I'm gonna put it on, no, we don't want a maintainer. We want a rapid charge because we ain't got time for that. Well, we ain't got time for the other one, so. So while we're waiting on that, I guess I can give an update about the, uh, the SHO. So, <laughs> um, as you may know that I have this very big goal of getting the EcoBoost to sound like a, uh, you know, like the Ford GT or more or less like the uh, GTR, Nissan GTR or something. I've been working very religiously to design different uh, things here to be able to get the tone I want. And just recently, Ford dropped the bombshell on me. And well, I mean, just pretty much everyone, but especially me because they did what I've been trying to do, not with the SHO, but with the new Raptor. If you've seen the new Raptor, um, any of the videos, look up the videos for the sound clips of just the truck. Ford, I give them one thing, they're really good at designing exhausts. Like, honestly, a stock GT350 exhaust is perfect people who modify them i mean i get it modifying it for like power um so it's more free flowing is one thing modifying it for sound you can't do that on a gt350 exhaust ford spent so much time making that exhaust in my opinion perfect so you cannot do that and i feel like they just did the same freaking thing with the uh, new raptor you know i guess they were tired of trying to make the v6 sound like a v8 so they just tried to make the v6 sound like a v6 i applaud them for that and with doing so, they made it sound so good. They made it sound like a GTR. They made it sound exactly the way I want this car sound. And um, I remember someone saying in the comments in one of the uh, videos for, for this, I think it was actually the one where I did the uh, prototype piece, when I built the prototype piece, someone mentioned that, you know, to get that sound, you really have to have equal length downpipes. So, of course, I've pondered over that. I've pondered over how much it's going to take to get the e downpipes equal length. The thing is, I was really hoping to develop something that was anyone could use because the shop I'm working with has the ability to crank out, you know, a batch orders if, they, if there's enough people interested. And I wanted to develop a system that was a bolt-on system that could work on any car and it was easy to put on and still give you that GTR characteristic, that sound. Now Ford has dropped this whole bombshell on, on everyone with how they achieved the sound of the uh, new Raptor. And it was by extending one of the banks, one of the pipes. But they basically used a trombone loop. So it's just basically like a, uh, I don't know, I guess it comes in like this. It goes, it loops around and like that. And it makes up the space and it gives them equal length. So it, the pulses arrive at the X pipe at the same time. And that's what gives it that very unique um, trumpety kind of characteristic. And that's, I love that sound. So what I'm thinking of doing now, if you see under, you see my X pipe, um, see that bank on the other side there? I'm thinking about, actually I could probably just use this one right here. Maybe doing one of them trombone loops right there on that. Cause that's right before it enters the X pipe and um, that would it that would allow it to be universal to any car, regardless of downpipes, regardless of center section. Um, and it, hopefully that would still be able to attribute to that sound. And if I can get that just right, I could probably make it where it is a sellable product, and you know I can offer it to all the SHO enthusiasts that want that sound and don't want to go through a whole lot of expense doing it it would literally be just as much or it'd be just as much work as doing a muffler delete so that is going to be cool that's another one of the projects here and a little update on that so always keep a lookout for that finally got it started okay you know what this it couldn't be a nicer day quite honest i mean it, it could but this is an absolutely beautiful day for the weather we've gotten just very recently. We don't usually get too much snow um, where I'm at. We're by the water, by the Chesapeake Bay. And generally, I mean, 
any bad weather. It's like, it kind of just bypasses us. Uh, uh oh, it's all this. unusual for my neighborhood there was like seven cops um, that's very strange okay um, just the fact that the sun's out just makes me happy oh, and the fact that I'm driving my Cobra minus the sway bar jingling around back there that I need to fix yet again see I think that is the problem with having too many project cars is there's only so much money that get to go around you know, you got, if you got all these expensive cars being worked on and you only make so amount of money, you know, what do you do? A lot of things have to, I gotta pick and choose and wait on a lot of different things and just do, it's like, instead of doing a lot at once on one car, I'm doing a little on each and every car for YouTube content that works out because it definitely helps extend everything, which of course helps with it, uh, YouTube, career so I'll take it for what it's worth I guess before I go to that body shop I gotta I gotta get some coffee I don't need it I just like it you know maybe I do need it good morning how can I help you good morning can I please get a uh, large iced coffee uh, black with mocha large iced coffee black with mocha anything else yeah, I'll be all all right come to the window thank you you're welcome Nice thing about coming at noon and not in the morning is usually there's never a line. Although, I mean, this is a lot later of a start I wanted to get to my day. Thank you, have a great day. Let's, let, let's do this. Ooh. Yeah, that's the good stuff. I think I need to make more of just like driving videos. I think I want to make a new series of videos, two different series actually. Um, one of just driving, uh, not like driving at stop like the stop, like going to get groceries, but maybe like, um, you know, uh, spirited driving videos with all three of the cars. Uh, I think that would be kind of fun to do. I mean, it's not super entertaining, but it is something else that I'll be able to offer on the channel. Also, because I have so many different videos and stuff pertaining just to my exhaust um, content and my projects, I think having a, uh, a very specific, very brief, uh, that was a cup I just, actually I think it's still under the car. There it goes. <laughs> very brief videos, um, just nothing but the sound and what is done to get that sound um, because I know videos of, for information are just as popular as just watching someone because you like them so I definitely want to start doing stuff like that uh, let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea I think regardless of the two I will probably no matter what do uh, the, the sound videos for the exhaust uh, and I think that would be a really cool addition to the channel Oh man, such a beautiful day. Mr. MTA bus, you want to stay on your side of the road, buddy. That's where you belong. Anywho, we're pulling up to the shop now. I'm going to speak to them and see what they can do. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see, where do we go? Parking lots for employees, drivers, so. Alright, well there's that. 
once I get an answer from them, I will uh, continue the video. So just hold on one moment. All right, so I got good news and I got bad news. Good news is the shop's really awesome. They're a local shop that's been around a long time in this area. Definitely thought I would uh, talk to them first before anyone else. Um, and give them my business versus something like a Mako or whatever. The bad news is it's definitely because of the time it's likely going to take to get that fiberglass pieces alone straightened up. It's going to be a lot more than I had anticipated. I'm not really keen on uh, the price per hour that body shops charge. And I know smaller businesses may have to charge a little bit more. Um, and I get that. They can do the, uh, the Ford Persian green, dark Persian green color as well. So now I'm thinking, I mean, just a very, very brief estimate. Of course, it's an estimate it can go up or down. All right, I had to pick this back up uh, from the driving part. I ran out of space on the memory card, so yeah. To do it right, there's gonna be a lot of time spent getting all this smooth, even, straightened out. And while I don't really wanna pay it, there's no other way to do it other than do it myself. And quite honestly, the amount of time that I would spend doing it, I would never do it nearly as good as someone else is going to do it. So I'm looking at probably somewhere four to five for body work with the paint it's going to drastically increase the price, especially the color I want. I think at that point, I will probably do a vinyl wrap, considering that I'm gonna do multiple colors on things. It's kind of stupid to paint everything the same color anyway. Like I wanna keep the roof black and, and all these other components black. It'd be stupid to have all that paint in it and then just wrap it anyway. Four to 5,000 to get the body prepped and ready. And then probably another three or so for a really nice wrap. But now knowing how much I'm going to spend, that's where the bad part comes in because I know it's going to be a while. It's not going to get done this year the way I had hoped unless YouTube really takes off for me. But for now, it's going to be at least another year's worth of work before it gets to a point that I want it to be. And then once I get the looks right on it, um, then we can start moving on to other stuff like engine mods and whatnot. And it's definitely my pride and joy car. It is such a head turner, even just the way it is, you know, because you hear it and then you, you turn your head to see what's making all the noise. And then people are like, it's definitely going to be the one and only FOMA Cobra Cobra. And that's how I want things to be. But yeah, this was just a simple vlog update video on all the different projects I have going on. So if you're seeing this video for the first time and you like everything that's going to be happening here on the channel, then please would you do me a favor and subscribe because you're going to want to see all of it. And if you already subscribed, then thank you so much. It has been helpful. My channel is growing and it's just getting bigger and bigger by the day. And I love it and I thank you all so very much. But that is it for this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for the next video.